Welcome to Make Workshop, where we demo cool toys, tools, and tech built for makers. Today, we're gonna play with a robot arm. This is the Dorna 2 from Dorna Robotics. It's a robot arm that can be used for a multitude of different things. It has built in five axes of motion, but the control system that comes with it has inputs and outputs, and I believe three more axes uh, of control already configured and ready to go. So you could add something like a pan and tilt head for a camera on top of it. Before I get too much further into this, I just want to point out this video is not sponsored by Dorna, and I will be sending this robot back as soon as the video is done. We just really enjoy showing you all of the cool stuff that's out there for makers. And if you know of any gear that we should check out, let me know. Setting this thing up was extremely simple. All I had to do was basically pull it out of the box, plug two wires into the back of the control box here, clamp it down to my work surface, and I was done. At that point, all you have to do is turn it on and connect to it, and then load up their software to be able to control the system. There's two different ways that you control the system. You either write a bunch of code depicting exactly how you want the robot to move, or you use their visual interface. Now this is a brand new robot, so they didn't quite have all of the documentation uh, available for their visual interface, and I'm frankly just not a great programmer. So the demos you see in this may not be completely indicative of the performance you could get out of the robot. Keep that in mind. However, I was very happy with what I was able to get it to do. One question that comes up a lot with, with robot arms is what will makers do with them? What can they actually use them for? Well, aside from the primary use of learning automation systems for industry, you could actually use this for some automation at home. I previously saw uh, one gentleman who wanted to do laser engraved coasters in a series and he used a robotic arm to load them into the machine, take them out of the machine, etc. I've seen them used for, you know, compact disc duplication systems and things like that in maker spaces. One use that I was very excited to try was to mount a camera to the end of this and get some fancy camera movement that I couldn't do on my own. I experimented with this and had a lot of fun. Unfortunately, the payload, the maximum payload of this machine is 1.5 nominal up to two uh, kilograms possible maximum load. And my DSLR is over that weight limit. It's about a little over five pounds. So I had to use a GoPro and my cell phone, but even then, this thing was pretty fun to play with. Let's look at some of that stuff. To program these motions, what I would do is I would train it. I would turn off the motors, I would move it to positions and tell the software I want it to be here, and then next I want it to be here, and then next I want it to be here. And then at that point, you can go back in and tune things like the acceleration from point A to point B, the speed that it's going to go and things like that. After I had it all dialed in, I just clamped my camera to it and started playing around with shooting some footage. Shooting slow motion footage moving around was pretty cool, and I was able to get some pretty interesting camera movement on my own. Hey you, are you subscribed to Make Magazine yet? If you like this kind of video of projects and stuff to build, you are gonna love Make Magazine. It comes out quarterly and it is packed full of tips and tricks, full projects that you can recreate and feature pieces explaining how makers are changing the world for the better. You can find information on how to subscribe in a multitude of ways, digital, or get the actual print edition in your mailbox at the link above, the link below in the description. Now back to the video. The maximum reach of this machine is about 500 millimeters fully extended. And then of course you can spin that around in any direction, which is 
fine for a lot of automation tasks. Of course, if you were going to be filming in a studio, you'd want something to go, you know, yards in any direction, but that's a whole different price range. Speaking of price range, this unit comes in at $3,500. If you'd like to learn more about this robotic arm, be sure to go to Dorna.ai. You'll find a link in the description below. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of the cool new tools, toys, and tech we have coming.